All right, what's up everybody? Peter Joseph here for video number two on your Fatal 4-Way Saturday, July the 15th, 2023. Thank you all for watching this time right here on the main channel, Killer of Demons 669. And as always, make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel and my other channels all down below in the description box. Don't forget to hit the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything. Because if you do, you're going to cry like a little bitch. And that's uh, pretty much it. And that's all I got to say about that. All right, we got Collision coming up in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to recoin this while Collision is probably going to be on the air. So it is what it is. So check out my first video of the of, of the day on the, on the legendary PG Ranch channel. My epic burial of that schmuck JD from New York. So check it out. Link will be in the description box. So check it out. And uh, have fun. And fuck JD. That's all I can say about that. All right. On this video, as the title below says, it is time for your late and out of date AEW Rampage review. For July the 14th, 2023, we are still in, in Canada. We're still in Saskatoon. Tonight we'll be in Calgary, Alberta, Canada for Collision and Battle of the Belt 7, which I'll review later tonight. And then I'll be on my break for two weeks. For about two, three weeks. We'll see what happens with that. But we'll talk about Collision and Battle of the Belts later. But let's talk about Rampage. And Rampage was okay. Nothing great. As we're still on the road, now on the road to All In and All Out, coming up in uh, late at the end of August and early September, Labor Day weekend. All right, so we have Chris Jericho, Excalibur, the man behind the mask, and the legendary Tony Baloney on commentary, as always. So we start off with our first match of the night, naturally limitless of Keith Lee and the natural Dustin Rhodes. They take on 2.0 of Angelo Parker. Slick hair, Angelo Parker. And my good friend, Daddy Magic, Matt Maynard. Do you want to know what makes Daddy Magic's nipples hard? You want to know? Ask him. I don't know. I'm not going to ask him. But you can ask him. If you want. He has a YouTube channel. So, ask him. That's it. Uh, pretty decent match. Uh, back and forth they went. In the end, uh, Dustin Rhodes and Keith Lee get the win in exactly 10 minutes. As uh, Keith Lee catches Parker in midair, sending him crashing back first on the canvas. Ow. Then he picks him up and hits the Supernova for the win. So, naturally, Limitless get the win. Match was all right. Gave it two and a half out of five stars. And pretty much it. Let me move on. Pretty decent opener. All right. Then we have a segment for QTV. Where we have Aaron Solo getting his back almost broken by uh, the lovely Harley Cameron's legs. Oh, what I would do to those legs. Mm. Scrumptious. Anyway. So... They have issued they issue a challenge to the acclaimed and daddy ass for next week. So we see Johnny TV, John Hennigan, Johnny Mundo, Johnny Nitro, whatever you want to call him, jumping out of a pool, all wet and his abs are you know showing and everything, making the ladies wet in their panties. We see that, and he makes a challenge to the acclaimed for next week. So we'll see what happens with that. So I give that two and a half out of five stars. Then we get to match number two, a 13-second suck fest. 13 seconds, Tony. We have John Hennigan's wife, Taya Valkyrie. She takes on Izzy McQueen from Canada. Izzy McQueen sounds like a member of Guns N' Roses from way back in the day. Not Izzy Stradlin. Maybe that's his brother, Izzy McQueen. But then again, who knows. Anyway, Taya wins with the Super Dragon! Stomp of Doom. And that's it. 13 seconds. Bing, bang, boom. It's over. Match gave a dud. 
And then the outcast come out, the beautiful Tony Storm, the AEW women's champion, and another hot piece of Aish, that's Soraya Knight. They come out and basically run down Ty saying she's a loser, she's been losing as of late. Uh, that's what, and then Ty, and then Tony's like, oh, that's because you're a Canadian and loser. That's what all Canadians are, they're all losers. Uh, then she brags about, I beat everybody, and then Ty's like, oh, really? You haven't beat me. We haven't touched each other yet. So then Taya throws out the challenge for Battle of the Belts for the AEW Women's Championship. And Tony Storm accepts it. So we'll see that match coming up tonight at Battle of the Belts. Is Taya going to win? Probably not. I doubt it. Let me get that. Let me run. All right. After that, we get to a segment with Send for the Man. Hook, stop eating your spaghetti in New York. Get in here. We see Hook in New York eating some spaghetti. I don't know if he was with somebody. It looked like he was with his girlfriend. Uh, he's eating at Ruby Tuesdays. Hey, I know that place. 42nd Street around. Uh, Times Square. Um, he throws out the challenge to Jungle Man Jack Perry to face him on Dynamite in Boston this Wednesday night for the FTW Championship. Okay. I think we're going to see a title change. But then again, who knows? So, I gave Hook's segment 3 out of 5 stars. Let me move on. Alright, then we go to match number 3. Lance Archer. Everybody dies! He's back with Jake Lovitz. As he takes on Trent Beretta of the Best Friends. Give me a hug. He's out with Chucky e. T. This was a pretty good match, around about a 10-minute match. Back and forth they went. Uh, Jake, Jake Lovitz gets involved. Distracts the referee. Um, as Lance Archer was beating the living crap out of Trent. Trent comes back eventually, but then Archer basically kicks his ass. Hits a big knee strike, goes to the top rope, and is denied by a knee to face. Uh, and then he hits the blackout, follows it up with a short arm clothesline. Bing, bang, boom. Lance Archer gets the win. And oh, that's pretty much it, about 10 minutes. Match gave 2.5 out of 5 stars. Jake Roberts approves of that. That's it. So, like I said, 2.5 out of 5 stars for that. And then after the match, Archer starts beating the fuck out of Chuck Taylor for no apparent reason. And then Archer gets on the mic. He demands that Orange Cassidy, the all-international champion, or the IC champion, basically, uh, accept his challenge for a shot at the belt, or he's going to kill Chuck E.T. and Trent. So on cue, Orange Cassidy comes out, and uh, we get the announcement that the match is official for Battle of the Belts. I don't know if Orange Cassidy is going to retain. I don't know. Uh, Orange is about to choke Cassidy out, and Jake Roberts tells him to wait till Saturday, my friend. Wait till Saturday. We'll get that belt off him on Saturday. That's pretty much it. So we'll see what happens tonight with that match. But I don't think a o a OC has a, has a prayer. I don't think he's going to win. I really don't. Maybe you'll finally see him lose that belt. But then again, you know, using his speed and everything to confuse Lance Archer. I think Lance Archer will lose. So he, he can never win the big one. Except when it's, in, when it's in Japan, he'll win it. But in the States, no. So I think OC might retain by the skin of his teeth. But we'll see what happens with that. And we move on. All right, then we go to a segment uh, with with Team Lethal, Jay Lethal, uh, Karen Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett, Satnam Singh, and the resident player from the Himalaya, Sanjay Dutt. They're all mad about what happened in the the Blind Eliminated Tournament where Matt Hardy and Jeff Jarrett lost. I uh, I forgot who they lost to. I think it was Sammy and um. And Danny Garcia. They're all mad about that. Then we hear from Matt Hardy, Ethan Page, and Brother Zay. Team Jarrett are, are among the first people to be announced for the Royal Rampage, which is coming back. I don't know when that is, but it's coming back. So that's going to be on Rampage probably in a couple weeks. So we get all that. So we'll see what happens with that. And I give that 2.25 out of 5 stars. That's it. All right, then we go to match number four, a three-minute suck fest. Did I say three minutes? Pretty much I did. 
Max number four, Kazuke take a shit off. I mean, Takeshita taking on Kenny Omega's uh, childhood friend. That's what Don Cal says. Uh, Mentos, aka Mentol, aka Mentolo. <laughs> Just with a guy under a mask. Uh, pretty. It was an okay match, you know. Mentolo got a few moves in. So it wasn't a total squash match, but in the end, DeKester wins with a delayed vertical suplex, then hits a son, sen, senton, senton off the ropes, bing, bang, boom, he gets the win in, in just about three minutes. Did I say three minutes? Yeah. So, match gave 2.25 out of 5 stars, and that's pretty much it for that. Let me move on. All right, after that, Renee, Yo Renee, Renee, Renee Piquette, excuse me, is backstage with the Dark Order, the remnants of the Dark Order, the Beaver Boys, Johnny Huggy, and Alex Reynolds, along with Mr. Evil Uno. They're still upset with the hangman, Adam Page, leaving them, going back with the Elite, or well, now the Golden Elite, as Ibushi's now in. As far as they're concerned, that win they got last Friday on Rampage for the official rebirth and reborn of the, of the Dark Order, so he sent a bold message to the locker room saying, well, even when I was saying, you're either Dark Order or you're not. Nice Nexus reference. Nice there, Evo Uno. Very nice. You're either Nexus or you're against us. I mean, come on. Really? So we'll see what happens with the Dark Order uh, as we go on. So I gave that segment three out of five stars. Then we go to your main event of the evening, the final semifinal match in the Women's Owen Hart Tournament. We have the Ring of Honor Women's Champion, Athena. Basically undefeated in her last 28, 29 matches. She takes on Widow Nightingale. And the winner will go to the finals tonight on collision against Ruby Soho, CM Punk, and Ricky Starks in the men. This was a pretty good match. Back and forth they went. Uh, we, got a, we got a GTS attempt by Athena. But then Willow counters that. Somehow turns that into a pinfall attempt. One, two, three. Willow Nightingale gets the win over Athena. Giving her her first loss in a long time. And Willow now faces Ruby Soho tonight in the finals of the Owen Hart Women's Tournament. I think Willow will win. And then... Uh, on the men's side, we all know CM Punk's going to win. So we got that. Also, great match coming up for the AEW Tag Team Belts. Bullet Club Gold taking on FTR in a 2 out of 3 falls match. That's going to be a banger. Also, Willow and, like I said, Willow and Ruby. CM Punk and Ricky Starks. And we'll see what happens with that tonight on Collision. And right after that, Battle of the Belt 7. So, three hours of AEW wrestling. It's going to be epic. And I will be back later tonight with my Collision and Battle of the Belts review. Those will be separate videos. I'm not going to do one big video. I don't have time for it. And after those videos are up and, and done, I'm out of here. So, I will, after those videos are done, starting tomorrow, I will be gone for two weeks. About two, three weeks. And, um... I will be, um, that's it. I'll be on vacation. Where I be, you won't know. And I'm not going to be in Florida. And I'm not going to be here. So I will not be around anywhere. So. Make your, you want to make your little threats and, you know, I care less because I won't be here. You want to go to jail so bad? Go be my guest. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Collision's on the air right now. So as when you see this, uh, Collision will be on the air. And that's it. So. That's all I got to say for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Peter Joseph signing off. Peace out, rock on, and rock hard with your cuckoo. And if you're not down with that, go fuck yourselves. And I got three words for you. Fuck you, man. Adios. Until next time. And there will be a next time. Peace.